Hi everybody. All right, in the last video you saw me make what I called a horrible mistake, which was putting the fuselage up on the uh, this table I have in the hangar. Uh, I'm standing by that notion. Having worked on a little bit of, of it today, if the fuselage had been on the ground, oh my god, would it have been so much easier. Right, but that stinks. It's like, you know, why haven't you done the front upper skin? Because there's so much to work on, so I haven't done it. You know, that's the only stupid thing I haven't done, is is, is rivet the top upper skin on. Because that would have just made working on everything underneath there a nightmare. I'm su And I'm really surprised that I hadn't done anything that stupid. So, Alright, so I talked about putting the landing gear on. That was the idea of putting it up on this table. And that's great. Uh, there, but, you know, things have to go in very specific order. Right. In order to get the f uh, main gear on, you got to have the front gear on. To put the front gear on, you need the engine mount on. And in my opinion, to have the engine mount on, I really want to have these cam locks done. Or at least the ones around the lower and sides of the firewall. So we're doing that now. And this is the final securement. Now, I mean, look, these. here's the thing. All I've done is just countersunk some pieces of metal, and I'm riveting them, riveting them on to the side of the fuselage in the bottom right? Uh, if I don't like the way it looks, I can just as easily slide this table up underneath my fuselage, take the front wheel off, take the uh, engine mount off, well, for now, <laughs> not not after there's an engine, and I can drill those cam locks out and redo them if I really needed to. That's the thing about this process. It, one, of, one of the problems I have is procrastination with big events, right? putting the gear on, doing the canopy, you know, stuff that you can't really, I don't know, go backwards on. Plus things that scare me. I mean, they're, they're, they're things that, that, that have a, you know, no backwards policy, plus they're scary, because I'm scared. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's that's where we are. Uh, all you really have to do is countersink all of the pieces. So the each of those plates get countersunk, and then when they get clico back on, man, they just fit perfect, and then it's just riveting them on. After we have those on, then we'll be free to put the engine mount on, but for good this time, with like with the actual bolts, proper torquing, all of that. And then we can put the front gear on. And that's the order, not in this video, but like in the next several videos of what we're doing. Now let's see any updates. Oh yeah, it's hot. Welcome to San Francisco, it's 100 degrees right now. I recorded this on Sunday, the day before. It is hot, all right? I'm in Alameda. It is hot. Uh, there isn't a speck of... There isn't a, a, even a breath of wind out there. Now, I'm not complaining. Look, I'm from Louisiana. Well, you want to talk about hot? Come join me. You know, at least, at least this isn't the beginning of September after a hurricane has rolled through and knocked the power out for two weeks, where it is mid-90s on a daily basis, right? With, like, 60% humidity. The real deal. Still, though, I'm just very happy that uh, I was raised in that climate and my body gets used to it. Any other questions or, let's see, do I have any rants? I do, actually. I do have a, one small rant to the people living in the apartment across from the window of my kitchen. Um, it was a den of thieves who had an ever-rotating... They were either a den of thieves that lived eight people in an apartment, or they magically had new bicycles every week. Uh, uh, f go go f*** yourselves. When they moved out, they took everything, of course, and they also took the batteries out of the smoke detector and the CO detector, and the landlord wasn't around for, like, two weeks. So it was just beep, 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 beep every 13 seconds. Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. All right, so let's see. No, those sides are still blue, so I haven't riveted them on. So we've got the bottoms on. So now all I'm really doing is making sure that the bottom corners uh, both fit. Right, so the bottom corner pieces of the cam locks, they do fit. I do, however, believe that I'm going to wind up having to cut them off, and I'll explain that later. They just The, the angle's not right uh, to get them to fit I just don't think would be right, and I didn't space it. I spaced it so there'd be one very center in the corner. I don't think it needs it. I know this thing is going fast, but we have Cessnas flying around at 110 
indicated airspeed, and they only have 15 cam locks around the entire uh, firewall. This is going to have 32. So, and that's including the two that are, that's, in, that's after the two that I have are going to be cut out of the corners. So it's going to have 32. It's plenty of them. So I, th I think it's going to be fine. All right, so I'm just going to go into another room and continue to sweat. Um, everyone have a good Labor Day. Hope you're having a good one. In the next video, we're going to finish this up, and then we're going to actually start working on the gear. It's pretty sweet. So thanks for joining me. See you soon.